What is up everybody? Slot Car Hooligan here. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to introduce myself. My name is Ryan and uh, I got into this of course years and years ago um, with my dad's AFX collection. As you can see here, here's a little Dodge Charger that he had painted up like Richard Petty's and um, this is where it all started for me, you know, and I have so many memories as a child um, racing these little slot cars and you know my cats they would go nuts they would have such a fun time it was a blast you know uh, they would chase these things around and uh, i remember the holidays just staying inside too and, and racing these around on the floor and it's it's just a it's a warm memory you know it brings back a lot of nostalgia and uh, i remember it escalated we were going to our local hobby shops and renting cars and we were racing the bigger cars there and then of course everything just kind of shut down you know the world changed that was kind of the end of it, you know, until we found a uh, hobby shop near us and we learned of Carrera. And um, at that time, it was such a revolution in the slot car industry for us. You know, we never saw anything like that. You know, one thirty-second scale cars, um, big style slot car tracks. So my dad immediately purchased a set for us. And of course, those are the um, two cars you saw in the thumbnail as well. And this was from the checkered flag challenge. And I think this was an early 2000 and 2002, 2003 set from Carrera. And uh, this is where it all began for us. You know, it opened up a lot of doorways and uh, just kind of blew our minds. You know, this was still at the very beginning when, uh, you know, internet wasn't that widely spread. Everything was dial up still. And, uh, you know, just didn't know about that at that time. And, uh, Right next to those cars in the hobby shop, I saw this fly slot car, this BMW M3 GTR. And for me, uh, I mean, with the mesh grille, of course, I took off the uh, side mirrors. They just, they would come off, you know, I still have them, of course, but um, you know, some loose parts hanging around. There used to be a uh, mesh vent tube. I have in a case still for it. Uh, you know, a little, um, looks like aluminum exhaust on the sides. I mean, just everything about this car was so detailed to me. The headlight assemblies, the taillight assemblies, um, the tires, um, even like wear indicators on the bottom of the treads. And uh, I fell in love with this car. And I was still very young, you know, and I saved up on my paper route. And I remember this was my first slot car purchase. And to think back now, this car has been with me for over 20 something years. You know, I'm still in my early 30s and I've had this car for more than half of my life. And these cars for more than half of my life. And I just remember how fast the world started moving and uh, these things kind of uh, took a back seat to, just because of the uh, logistics of it. You know, the tracks were so large and you couldn't really keep them set up in your home unless you had an extra room to spare. So it kind of just sat on the wayside. And uh, my wife and I recently purchased a newer house here um, that we just moved into last year. and. I just remember wanting to set that track up again, you know, and uh, we had a much better um, setup in our basement this time around compared to our last house. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to make a permanent track and I'm going to enjoy this because these are things that um, I truly loved to do back when I was younger. And um, the more I looked into it, the more manufacturers are out there that I didn't know of, and the more stuff that seems to be coming out. And of course, there are channels out there, um, you know, that slot car guy, slot car dude. Uh, shout out to you. Thank you for the first subscribe and the comment. I greatly appreciate it. It means so much to me. Um, you know, MP slots, uh, slot car news, uh, Sunday slots. Um, uh, you know, these, these guys out there um, that are doing great work for the community, I respect that uh, greatly. And I want to move the hobby forward just as much as any of you out there who are watching this. And it's a shame, you know, I, I think. Uh, you know, things like this, it reminded us of slower times and uh, memories that will really um, stay with us forever. I was kind of scared for a while. I thought this uh, hobby was dead and gone. And um, I'm so glad that I didn't give up on it. I'm so glad I opened the uh, old track up and set that up and found all of you guys out there creating such awesome content. So I just wanted to create a um, introduction and like I said, introduce myself to everybody out there and. I hope that uh, you guys will stick around. I uh, want to really uh, push some content out there and do a little passion project of mine. As much as I love cars, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of car culture and uh, influence probably mixed in there. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And um, 
know, I hope to see you in the next few videos here. And until then, I hope this video finds you all well. And thank you so much if you've listened this far in. I appreciate you hearing me out. And, um, you know, looking forward to seeing what we can create together.